We're at Disney Hollywood Studios. our first time being at Disney World together and we are super excited. I am taking this one to Galaxy's Edge, which is the Star Wars land for an early birthday present and we cannot be more excited to be here. So we're getting ready to walk into the entrance of Galaxy's Edge and I'm really excited to check this out. When we first got to Galaxy's Edge, we walked through the Black Spire Outpost Marketplace and immediately noticed the quality of detail in everything here. We found all kinds of things, from porgs, collectibles, and Jedi robes. And at the creature stall, the first thing you'll notice is a sleeping loth cat in a cage. At the end of the marketplace is Ronto's Roasters, where we stopped for breakfast. So we've come to Ronto's Roasters. It's kind of like a quick service place, but I heard the Ronto wraps are delicious. Plus it's really cool because there's like a droid cooking the meat using an old pod racer engine. a hot dog for breakfast. What's it? I said I want a lightsaber. Oh my god. We're about to board the Millennium Falcon. This is the second major attraction at this park. Everything leading up to the ride looks so incredible. If and when you are successful, the rewards will be astronomical for me. This literally feels like we're on the ship. It's so cool. Look at all the detail in this place. Smuggler's Run is kind of like a simulation. In teams of two, you're randomly given three different roles on the ship. Pilot, gunner, and engineer. Everyone has to work together to complete the mission. And in the end, you're given a score based on how well you did. I was a hot shot. If you've ever seen the blue milk in A New Hope or the green milk in The Last Jedi and wanted to try it, you actually can at the milk stand. Oh. Oh. <laughs> What's it taste like? Um, it's really chalky. Mm. Like, uh, almost like a candy that like tastes chalky. Like those circle thingies, I don't know what they're called. It tastes the same or different? Better, way better. And we could have gotten rum in this one and tequila in this one, but it is 9.56 a.m., so. Five o'clock somewhere. Maybe later. So that's the better tasting one of the two. I don't know what what is it's not like it's kind of like a smoothie slash like, like icy icy yeah it's weird. <laughs> oh yeah, blue is way better. <laughs> While you're in the parks, you have to use the Disney World mobile app. In case you are unaware, Disney actually got rid of Fast Passes and they now have a program called Genie Plus. This is an additional charge, unfortunately. It's about $15 per person and you can only book it on the day of your park reservation. But this allows you to pre-register for certain rides. You can skip wait times. So I pre-registered us this morning for Tower of Terror. You can book a ride every two hours and then just kind of hop on other rides or grab some food while you're waiting. 
Now, in addition to Genie Plus, which has most but not all rides available to pre-register, there are also something called individual lightning lanes. So these are for more exclusive rides. Think Rise of the Resistance at Galaxy's Edge. So this is a additional charge that you have to <laughs> you have to buy an individual lightning lane to bypass those long lines. It is not a part of Genie Plus. So we paid $15 a person for Genie Plus, and then I paid an additional $15 per person to make sure that we got on Rise of the Resistance because there are typically very long wait times or it gets sold out. That's not what we were told, sir. You took their word and gave me yours. Affirmative. Two very serious mistakes. We are sorry, sir. Rise of the Resistance is the main reason to go to Galaxy's Edge. It starts with a bit of a walkthrough, building up to the actual ride itself. During this, you'll meet a lot of characters that will either aid you or deter your mission. There appear to be a number of small craft heading our way. And I don't want to give away too many spoilers, but early on you're captured by the First Order and treated like a prisoner. Up until this point, we still haven't actually started the ride. Look down at the ground and verify the color you are standing on. Blue, red, silver, orange. This is the business. You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base. Keep hands off the delays. Please have to transport and supervise your children. So that was a lot of fun and such an enjoyable, immersive experience. There was a couple surprises in there that took me by granted, and if they took photos, my eyes were probably closed for a little bit of it. Yep, they're definitely closed. But, man, what a rush. We've come to Oga's Cantina for a drink. How it works here is you make a reservation in advance for a 45-minute time slot. Honestly, that's more than enough time to try the amazing drinks and explore the bar, and it is well worth the stop. We opted for the two most popular drinks on the menu, the Fuzzy Tauntaun, which has a harmless numbing agent in the foam, and the Bespin Fizz, which literally bubbles as you drink it. Oga wants to watch you suffer while you drink that concoction. <laughs> Make sure you don't get that foam up your nose. It's our most toxic concoction, all right? Yeah. but you can start to taste like a numbing agent. It's really cool. It like numbs your tongue out. If you're feeling courageous and your pockets are full of credits, for $85 you can drink to the Rancor and you can keep the claws as souvenirs. Be sure to get to know your bartenders a little bit. They might play some trivia games with you. We also ordered the Dagobah Slug Slinger right from the Dagobah Slug herself, which actually might be the tastiest drink on the menu. Of course, if you like it, you can tell the slug yourself. Her name is Duchess. Thanks, Duchess. <laughs> Thank you, Duchess. 
In 45 minutes, after four drinks and some snacks, our total came out to a pricey $92. Honestly, I think it is still worth it for the experience itself, so try and fit it in the budget somehow. We stopped by Salvi's workshop where you can build your own lightsaber and the droid department where you can build a functional customizable droid. But both of these things cost anywhere from like $200 to $300, so I didn't get my lightsaber this time. Tony is generally a very neutral person, very level-headed emotionally, not a lot of highs or lows, like big swings on either side. But I will say that... <laughs> He's watching me right now. <laughs> I will say, the most excited I've ever seen this man is one, when there are cookies in the oven ready to eat, two, when the Ravens have either won or are about to play, and then three, at Galaxy's Edge in Star Wars Land at Disney World. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I just love the level of detail that Disney puts into everything. These are just Coke products, but they're like thermal detonators and they look so cool. And it didn't explode on me, so that's good. <laughs> Star Tours is another ride you can get on, but it's outside of Galaxy's Edge. And the droids said no photography on this ride, so we'll just show the outside here. I feel like this ride has been at Hollywood Studios for a long time. It's like a 3D experience, kind of like an older version of Smuggler's Run without being interactive. Also, just outside of Galaxy's Edge is the Launch Bay. If you don't happen to cross paths with some of your favorite characters, you can stop here for photo sessions with them. Wait times per character may vary. This video is a little out of the ordinary for us, but we wanted to take you along for the ride. And honestly, if you're thinking about visiting Galaxy's Edge, I'd say it's worth it, even if you just go to Rise of the Resistance. That ride is so much fun, but there's a lot to do here. There's shops, markets, all these places are just really cool to explore. And as always, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and that you are subscribed to our channel so that you never miss a detour. And may the force be with you. We're at Disney Hollywood Studios. I forgot. <laughs> These are not the droids you're looking for. 